seems like he he likes Levitar and everything. So I mean, he Tony seems like a good hang, right? Generally, yes. he seems like a good hang. Yeah, it was good. He he talked about the uh, revolution explosion. Now he didn't pay for it. He didn't pay for it, or like yeah. because it failed. Yeah, oh, it was like a hundred thousand dollars, and he didn't pay the people because because they fucked it up. I mean that's fair though, yeah. right? I mean, hundred k for that explosion, holy yeah. shit. Yeah, he was like, I didn't, I didn't pay for it. He said he's gonna do the match again too. So I mean, we'll see. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> Very sorry. If it was like saying, I don't know. If it was like saying I'd avoid it to be honest, but eh, I get it. It was the match was good to be fair. So it was. That's what he talked about. That he was just like, you know, they worked really hard and everything, and to have that, like, it was just. Yeah, he wasn't happy with it, which doesn't seem like anybody was happy with it. And who could blame him? Yeah, I mean, it's it really just got under the radar just how lucky they were that it was King and Marks because we talked about it at the time, but they did such a good job. We've forgotten about it, right? Like, yeah. we like they did such a good job. It feels like a non-event, but it really was a big thing. I mean, WGW would have spent five years trying to overcome that shit. It was terrible. Good evening, folks. Uh, we're here today for a, for some BP Dub. Jeremy's about to grab some food in a second, and then we're going to try our best to, to get booking. I think, right, Jeremy? That's what we got to do. Yes. We've got a couple of hours before the football. Um, this is the penultimate episode of BP Dub. We're going to get to the pay per view. We're going to book the pay per view, and then that will leave us with the the two New Year episodes, in which obviously in the second of those episodes, the whole promotion will be blown up to smithereens. Um, that's where we're at, folks. So. We appreciate you joining us. I apologize for the sun. Holy shit. The sun is terrible. Oh, God. It's like... Do you remember? remember? The old days when yeah. you used to have the one. <laughs> the sun would okay. come in in the middle of our show at like 4 o'clock every single week. And it would just... I'd get a nice little filter on my face for those episodes. <laughs> I don't know if I can... Hang on. Let me get my... Uh... Let me look at this through my Skype so that I'm not waiting 10 seconds for the Twitch to show if I've changed things for better or worse. Yeah, you're good. You're good. <laughs> I'm moving it and I'm like, hang on, now I'm on Twitch. What's going on here? No, not the best of this stuff, folks, but that should be a little bit better. You're good. Um, I hope everyone is well. This is worth sitting up to 3 a.m. for, dude. That's that's not true, but we appreciate it. No, it, there's a video on demand. Come on now. You don't need to stay up to yeah. 3 a.m. for this. It's, it's not worth watching it all, let alone staying up for. But, yeah. you know, we appreciate the love. Um, these weeks, the, we've done so many of them, but this feels like a big one. Road Rager tomorrow night. I'm excited. Um, Joseph, did you hear they plan on stacking every single show? I saw that headline. I don't know whose that was, but I think Dave, Dave probably said it, and people are just like, "Oh, this is news." It's like, dude, they do yeah. this every single week. Yeah, I mean, I thought it was pretty obvious when they announced four television specials that they intended to do <laughs> some good wrestling shows. But you know, <laughs> uh, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab something to eat. Joseph, uh, throw throw a bunch of questions at Joseph. Hey, thanks for the bits, Bradley Walker. Says, love for the funk, sir. Everyone watch uh, Terry Funk match and promo this week. There you go, Joseph. You can talk about Terry Funk. The Funker. Yes. Yeah, it bummed me out. That yeah. was, um, that was sad. But, you know, it's a good point. Riley's right. We appreciate the bits, but he's correct. I think he's one of those guys. I think you're a very short list. There's a lot of great wrestling in the history of the earth. And as a fan of it, you should watch whatever attracts you, whatever you enjoy, whatever you think you'll enjoy it. But I do think everyone should try their best to consume some Funka. I mean, it's just, in, in a lot of ways, if one single pro wrestler encapsulated, the whole business is kind of, the whole business is, is it's ceiling, it's possibility, it's potential. I think Terry Funk is it. So I would recommend um, checking out some Funka if you have some time. We appreciate it, Riley. Uh, Sean Burby, 100 bits, says, I'm happy for the early starters. I have an interview for potential promotion in 90 minutes. Wow, good luck, Sean. For, good luck on that, pal. If for some reason it doesn't work out, I'll be sending him a 15-page paper to join Distraction Plus team. Listen, man, I um, I intend to include you guys on the Distraction stuff, so we'll, we'll do something whether you get the promotion or not, but obviously good luck. Hope it all goes well. Don't, don't stress yourself out too much. Be prepared, but do not be, you know, anxious. Relax, be yourself, you'll be good. Oh my god, I need to knock myself out by headphones there. It's very scary. McGregor Poro predictions. Um Oh, I really hope Dustin wins, man. 
I just do not fuck with Connor anymore. I kind of question anyone that does. I just, I'm out on that whole personality. I'll be honest, I, I kind of get a feeling Connor can pull this one off. I think it's a, very, it's a winnable fight for him. I'm going to rock with Dutch Sting because I want him to win. It's a good fight, though. Definitely an intriguing rubber match, if nothing else. Cole or Cool Kyle? Um, Cole won the last one. Cole will win this one. You know, all that good stuff. Um, I'm sure they'll have a good match that goes very long. Any predictions for Road Rager? That's going to be Running City. I think that street fight is going to be. <laughs> I think you're going to see some faces in that one. I really do get the sense it could be some Nitro-esque pro wrestling, which is not a negative, but I think you might get them dry day surprise. I, I get the sense it's a couple weeks away, but it could be tomorrow. It wouldn't surprise me. Um, yeah, Connor at Becky did the voiceover, Ray, for, you know, which I would, if I wanted to get in trouble, I would discuss, but I will not. Um, Riley, another 100 bits, says Terry has basically wrestled with every style of match. From old school traditional to the death match and hardcore. Yeah, I mean, he's he was the classical NWA champ in the 70s. He had one reign. It was, it was a lengthy one. He was a great touring champ. He was God in Japan. I mean, you can't you can't really capture in words, especially I can't, just how significant he was a, a figure in Japan. And then, as you say, in the, you know, he reinvents himself as this kind of middle-aged and crazy persona, right? And, and that... That then becomes who he is, and he becomes an innovator in the in the hardcore, the death match, all that good stuff. He's incredibly influential. I mean, perhaps the most versatile, sort of high end um, wrestler ever. I, I would suggest. I mean, there's guys that are versatile at a lower level that can play many roles. So, like for example, I'll you know, I'll use him because I like him. Look at Eric Young; he's a very versatile guy, and he's good to have on your roster. But he isn't someone that has been a draw. Jerry Mott was a top-end guy that showed that versatility over about 50 years. So, you know, it's, he really is unique. Um, I want Diamond to win. I think Connor will take it. Yeah, I might disagree. wonder if they have a big, big surprise tomorrow. It wouldn't surprise me, man. Is that? wouldn't surprise me if it was a big surprise. No, I mean, I, look, I think the 90-day stuff is really interesting, right? It gets your mind thinking. Anything is possible with so many guys on the free agency list right now. Um... What have we got here? Falls on Zelina's crusade against the Dirt Sheet Boys. Oh, I, look, I get it. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to dunk on her or anything. I, I I hope she makes good money there and all that good stuff. I I get why, from her perspective, people like us suck. I'll leave it at that. I, I think they probably could do if stop talking about it. <laughs> but I completely get it. I've always got it. You know, obviously, I don't I don't roll with it. It's not my, so it's not my perspective. But I do understand very much why certain messages get lost in that translation. That's all I'd say. Uh, over under will be 10 false finishes in that match. The Cole one? Oh, my God. Over. Forever. Indeed. Tope Sucida. I feel Mox return. I hope so. But I just... I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with Mox. I don't know if he's going to be out for a while or he's going to be back. As now that they're back touring, he'll be back immediately. Time will tell. I hope he's back. Wild Thing live is, you know, with that crowd, with a touring crowd, the Wild Thing entrance is going to be an all-timer. Only time I saw Terry was One Night Stand 2006. Yeah, that match is awesome. Ray says he and Chris, Chris Bordine reviewed that. You should check that out, folks. Music and Moon Talks on YouTube. That is a great, um, that's a great show that people forget because it's like, its legacy is ruined by the fact that it's followed by terrible TV. But that show is great, and that match is peak old man Terry. I mean, he's, I believe he's like 61 there, 62, right, around there, early 60s in that match. Insane. Um, and obviously, yeah, RVD and Cena, another great one. It's a good show. Good show. Okay. We're in a book. We are. Okay. Do you know if we have like plans? No, right, what? Do we have like plans that we can like or that we've locked in that we can go to to get through this to get or are we gonna have to try and come up with this stuff on the fly? <laughs> oh my god, the Hardy Boys won the AW tag team titles. I'm sorry to hear that. Beat the young bucks. Incredibly sorry to hear that, Jeremy. <laughs> 
No, we don't just hope, have. Just hope that never happens. Just hope you never have to write that headline. <laughs> My hope. God. Joseph, what has happened to our roster? Oh, it's, it's a lot it's of people been, just need the gimmick gimmicks because we've we've signed so many people. They are murderers, all of them. <laughs> Alleged murder. This is the gimmick. You should just make that gimmick and actually give it to all of them. That would rule. <laughs> Why does Stoke have moral issues? So I know we don't like to talk on these shows because we end up talking for an hour. Yeah. But I watched a segment of Raw last night. Why? I was sorry to I was sorry to experience what I did because I watched what? the eight woman tag. Oh god. The eight woman tag was a sight. It was like a science experiment in which a wrestling booker had been asked to deem as many great talents as he could useless. <laughs> and he had succeeded. He had done it in grand grand fashion. Wild wild division. Wild show. What's AJ's gimmick? He's just a dude, right? Dead man. Like he's the dead man. <laughs> dead man. <laughs> that is true. He gets. That's fine. Gets Dude, imagine shit. him coming out to take his music at the funeral. <laughs> the funeral, the wedding. Sorry, not the, not the funeral, the wedding. All right, Johnny Swinger. Um, to be clear, folks, rare specialty because I do not want to attack your Hardy, your your <laughs> your elite Hardy dreams. <laughs> I'm all for the Hardy boys in AEW, but as tag champs, hey, let's be careful here. Okay, right? let's not get carried away. Johnny Swinger is a cool guy. Disagree strongly. But yeah. <laughs> Swingman! Yeah, that's his gimmick, right? Yeah. I did not have a place for him in my impact wrestling, I've got to be honest. What's, La, what's Laparco? What's he doing in our Fed? He's just. Why did we sign him? I think he was just going to show up next to Penta because I think we signed Penta. Yeah. I'm just like, here we go. They're just at the wedding. Yeah, they're yeah. just at the wedding, right? Yeah. He's a dancer. No, it does a. Yeah. <laughs> the dance that it does. I know, it's just funny. Like, the idea that Vinny's whole gimmick grows. Um, BP Dove is going to get cancelled by Twitter for giving AJ a dead man gimmick less than a year after our good brother Doc Gallows. <laughs> In this thread, I will. <laughs> Boki is a hitman. Like, legit. He's a hitman. Is he it is. not on? Do they not have hitman? Hired gun. Actual murderer is the good one. <laughs> Dude, did you see that Bud Murph clip where he put over Wrestle Talk TV? No. Did you see sounds, this? That sounds horrible. No, it's funny. I'm, I'm messing about Wrestle Talk. But he's like, you know, I would just watch Wrestle Talk TV's recaps that are five minutes long because I didn't want to watch the wrestling shows <laughs> or inspect that. And then I was left to think, like, put in my DMs, like, how many guys in the roster don't watch the shows? And I was like, uh, all of them, because the ones that are on the show would never want to rewatch, <laughs> and the ones that are off certainly ain't seen and watching. What is Matt no Bloom doing? Why do we have him? He's um, he thinks that Carl died. Remember? Oh, what's that? <laughs> yeah. So what's I think that's what it was? Just like grieving lover. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we have green. Go next lover. door. Go <laughs> next door. <laughs> he just walks around at the wedding and he's like, <laughs> he's just like, Do we have, like I just can't sad? Lost it, man. We just have like we had sad? Such, we had something like, I don't know, I, whatever, man. But just the idea of like, you know, like, even walking around, we had such a good run in Japan. And everyone's like, what is he talking about? He, Gallo's replaced him. Why does he keep thinking that? <laughs> And eventually, he's like, shout out to the machine gun! <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if there's a gimmick for this. Oh, man. Just give him whatever gimmick he can actually do, but the people know. Nah, who get broken? He's broken. Not in the Matt Hardy way. Our fans well, won't respond to this. Uh, who gives a shit? A subtle and complex gimmick. Is that what it is? <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> that's how he's broken. Yes, to be clear, folks, these gimmicks are made by, like, the mod makers, so... Yeah. And I, I, we're not going to go in there and actually, like, do a bunch of gimmicks. Natalia is a comic never... book villain. Factual. That's actually true. Yeah. She would be good at this, right? Yeah. She, okay, she is a I mean, probably not. She seems to be bad at everything. Walter. 
Walter is a man looking for revenge. <laughs> for Daniel Bryan going into business for himself. <laughs> just hates politics. Just hate <laughs> nothing he hates more than wrestling politics. <laughs> He's a traditionalist. Oh, I want the, I want this match to be like actually good. So I need to give him. Somebody trying to call me or somebody trying to call you, Joseph? What are you doing? Joseph is frozen. Oh my! What God. just happened? I don't know. What just happened? I don't know. My whole thing like froze. Yeah, I can tell. Am I back? Yeah, you're here. Okay. Well, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> what was he talking about? Yes, the first BP dub champ was who? Brian? Yeah, I think Brian was the first one. Dude, this distraction dream match is the stuff dreams are made of, truly. It's so you know, special. Chaos Project versus Penta and King. Oh Holy my shit. god. When there's I... no way that Luther didn't pop. When he got told that was the match they're doing, there's no way Luther didn't think of us, right? I, I don't know, I can message him and be like, what were your first thoughts when they told you you were going mean, to wrestle Eddie Kingston? I'd imagine his first actual thoughts was, fuck, I hope Eddie doesn't chop the shit out of me. That's <laughs> what I would guess. But the thing is, you know that King's going to give him like a four-minute heat segment. That's why it rules so much. It's going to be great. <laughs> it was very scary when, when the whole stream for me just like halted. That, was very, that doesn't normally happen on the Skype. Usually I have problems on the stream yard. Very scary. Why does Larry Steve have morale issues, please? <laughs> I'm going to try to cook him. Dude, Tommy Dream is going to kill Paul Heyman, right? <laughs> yeah, what's his gimmick? He's an, like, he's an, act he's an struggling actual fat murderer. Guy. Did that just say struggling fat guy? Did I imagine that? Please tell me I just saw that. No. I don't think you saw struggling fat guy. <laughs> <laughs> Something. I didn't imagine it. I swear, I saw something fat guy. Where did you see fat guy at? I don't know. It looked. It, it was somewhere in there. I don't know. Maybe I made it up. <laughs> you made it up. <laughs> you saw Tommy Dreamer on the screen. And you were like struggling, fat guy. <laughs> I think I did. I think I just. Made, I just. It just felt right. I like the Tommy Dreamer. You know, I'll say this. I saw a clip of him talking with, with Baba Bully on the Bullet Busted Open. He's an intelligent psycho. Back That's sure. what Tommy Dreamer is. He is. I saw a, I saw a bit of him talking with, with Baba, and I was like, dude, Dreamer could actually be like good at podcasting if he was not on this show. You know? Like, he's actually very... He's got his own he's, podcast. He... Oh. Yeah. Well, that makes me look like an asshole. <laughs> um, but, like, he's... Because he's, he's like a foley, right? Like, he's very positive about the business. He's yeah. not one of these sort of... Well, once upon a time, like he's pretty, pretty switched on. I like Tommy. The Big Show is a is a mini. Where's like mini? Yeah, um, God, some of these are really problematic. Yes, yes. Like, like really problematic. I mean, good lord, it's a wrestling game. Saying Dude, that, wrestling is very problematic. Woman beater is on here. Like, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> it's, it's very problematic stuff. What is his gimmick? Jesus, there's just a deadpan racist one too. Holy <laughs> shit. Um, sci-fi geek. No, it's not that. It's No, he's he's just a mini. Like, do we not have anybody that's just like a mini person? Apparently not. It's just small. The, the heartbreak kid. Small? Do we have small? <laughs> This this is very sad. It feels like the simplest gimmick of them all. Yeah, we haven't booked anything either. Um... Yeah, Daddy's little girl. <laughs> okay. Okay, what did I... that say? I just saw the fat guy one. Where? I just saw the fat guy one. I swear I did. Disgusting fat oh. guy? <laughs> oh, that's way worse. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought it was struggling fat guy. <laughs> Alright, he's daddy's little girl. We have Tyler yeah. Breeze as girl next door. That's what I said. Yeah. Scott um, Taylor is just dad. He's a dad. He's he's a papa, yes. Yeah. Um, Do we have father? If I had a territory, everyone would just be a struggling fat guy. And you'd be my promotion. <laughs> Family legacy. Indeed. 
Penta is a stripper because we have Laparka as the dancer and Penta is the stripper. Scott Taylor is Dexter Loomis is dead. Right? Yeah. <laughs> All because like once one of us was like, he looks a little bit like him, huh? And that's it. <laughs> PCO is lunatic. Yeah, that's fair. Who is he teaming with now in Ring of Honor? I don't think anybody. Oh. I feel like I mean maybe somebody, but like I don't okay, right, there. We've assigned everybody with gimmicks. Alright, who has morale issues that we need to actually take care of? Nobody. Fuck all these people. Alright, Joseph, here we go. Alright, okay. Um do we have a main event for this week? I really hope we do. I don't know. Let's see. No, nope, we're still in November. They're <laughs> <Our> booking. <laughs> Dan House and he's teaming up with Jeremy. Okay. Okay. What did we do last week? Um, yeah. that. Shit. Okay, well, let's just map out these two TVs, and then we can hit them both quicker. So, if they did a talking segment last week, it feels like Mox and Brian should do some sort of match this week, right? Like, it could be, a, we could do the deal where it's like, pick your poison thing, where they, they pick the other guy's opponent, or we could do a deal where they're in a tag. Which would you prefer? Um, let's do like a pick your poison thing. Okay. Do we go? Because remember, the territory's dying, so we can burn matches here. Like this, there's no reason to save anything. It's, it's, we are literally blowing everyone up. They can't even have these matches elsewhere. Okay. Who the hell would Moxley and Brian choose as men to wrestle on their behalf though in this promotion? <laughs> that seems like the issue here. I mean, I'm sure we can find some. That's not ideal. Moxley. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I'm not sure. Moxley should choose. Here's here's a, here's something for you. Okay. What if Britt goes to Dan Bryan and like convinces him to, to get Sid to do it. And Alexa's like, why does Sid have to go and fight John Moxley? He always gets his ass kicked by John Moxley. <laughs> and Britt's like, he needs to prove he can beat John Moxley, you know? And Sid's like in the middle. It's a morality play. Because okay. this will obviously all be paid off for the closing angle. Because uh, I know that we did Mox and Sid before, and like, I'm pretty sure the finish both times, or at least the second time, was stuff with Alexa and Britt. So continuing that, making Sid slightly sympathetic, that feels like the play here, Jeremy. All right. I like that. My idea was for Moxley picking Brian's opponent. And since Brian hates the ass, I, I Brian does a promo and he's like, everyone in this company, a bunch of losers, only care about ass. You can pick one, you can pick two, you can pick three. Like You can pick as many opponents as you want. Oh, yeah. And yep. so he picks uh, the Curry Man... And the Captain Booty yes. Pro as the opponent. Okay. So that's your opener. And then yeah. the main event. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. okay. I think the finish for the Sid match, by the way, thinking about it, should be like the women are not involved because they've already done their part of the story. It should be something with Paulie and Shane. Because remember, we're doing Paulie and Shane versus Sid and Alexa. Yeah. Okay. So they could be dicks and, and ruin it for Sid. But try and get some simpy on Sid, you know? Some simpy. Um, Shane O'Mac. He's factored in, JJ, okay? Take it easy. Calm down. All right, so the opening, the cold open is going to be Britt going to, to Brian. Yes. And this will also explain the pick your poison rules. This will also be Brian saying, I don't care who he picks. He can pick one, two, whatever. Right. Yes. Deal. So the cold open will kind of tie everything in together. Oh, great television. <laughs> You know, and you've got Alexa there, try, you know, kind of, sim you know, trying to figure out why poor Sid has to go and fight this fight. She's like, we're trying to get ready for a mixed tag. Britt just doesn't give a shit, right? This yeah. is the key, the key here, guys. For those of you missing this detail story, we should get Bob to do a 20-tweet thread explaining <laughs> it. But the, the idea here is that Britt doesn't really care about anyone but herself. But Alexa seemingly does actually care for the Sid. Now, we'll soon find out she's merely using his naivete take advantage and, and fuck over Brit, but you know that's that's storytelling that's layers okay all right so we do a handicap match 
I mean, I feel like this should be at least like 40 minutes per show booked. So, I've, you know, really yeah. pick, pick your poison, really. It's very, I get why the guys at Raw and SmackDown and all that enjoy this stuff now. This is very easy, you know. <laughs> By the way, like anyone that thinks, you know, when we do these shows, Jeremy, it's like we try to fill time. Anyone that thinks that doesn't happen in real wrestling is insane. Have you seen some of these shows in recent months? Like, uh, we just do Ricochet and Morrison again. Like, it's, that's wrestling, man. It's always going to be that way, you know? There, there's maybe one promotion in every year that's actually like trying to maximise their minutes. The rest, no way, pal. The rest is just filling time, hoping not to die. Look at this. This is a, this is a big, this is an iconic feud in BP Dub history too. These two men did some, they had some iconic battles. All right. So what's the finish for this match? So the finish for this, I think, should be a deal where Steph, Paulie, and Shane buy a ticket. You know that old classic. Mm-hmm. And then, like, one of them does some... Like, they distract him or something. I'm not saying he's finish and win, because Mox is a baby face. But I think it should be a distraction. Okay. You know, they, they throw something at him, or they do some sort of shit. Right. Maybe Shane... Uh, I was going to say kisses his sister, but... Uh. I actually like that. Okay, good. Shane tries to make a show here. <laughs> I love the... I just love that the, the dynamic here is that, like... Shane doesn't realise he's the one that looks like a dog. Or oh, weird. Like no. He's... This is the fourth time we've done this match? Fourth? My God, well, that's very sad. That ruins everything. I thought it was the third. When did we do... Can we actually look at matches? I'm intrigued by yeah. this now. I mean, like, my bad. I, you know. We did it in August. Oh. Um... Like, we did it in October? Oh, well, forget it. Yeah, we did the okay. rematch in October. <laughs> I mean, okay. it's been... How, how can we do this? How can we get around this? Because <laughs> I like the bit with Alexa and... Maybe Alexa just gets sit out of the match. Maybe that's what we do. Okay, all right. So yeah. then who's Moxley facing now? Very simple. Very, very simple. Brian realises that if Sid even won't fight John Moxley, he has no hope of picking someone that Moxley will actually lose to, right? Okay. Very simple. Instead... He would rather sacrifice Bob, L- Bob Lashley so he can quite literally have his ass kicked by John Moxley. All right, like that's what that. we're gonna do here. Um, after this show, you guys should go through the top 100s or whatever, see the best matches and shows. That's a good idea, actually. We'll, we'll, we'll have a look at that. Can you, so, everybody, so, so you're trying to remind us of that shit when we've booked this filth. Or maybe we should do that right at the very end. I don't know when the territory's dead. No, let's do it after the pay per view. Because, okay. I mean, we're not... That'll be a year. That'll yeah. be a year off. The yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. There, Moxley wins. So we're not doing the shenanigans now with... No, instead what we'll do, we'll do a skit where Paul Lee and Shane, like, pretend... They're, like, talking about how much of a coward Sid is, you know? Are you yeah, hiding yeah. behind a woman yeah. and all that stuff? I would never hide behind a woman, you know, and Steph's standing there. Is it? This is legit going to be, like, our whole show, which is fine. Yes, yeah, so I'm happy to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> We've done many a TV build at this point. All right, Alexa and Sid. There. Okay. Match history feature would be helpful for Raw and SmackDown bookers. <laughs> <laughs> no, they would they'd just proceed with that shit. Here's here's a here's a here's a layered thing, Joseph. Yes. So they're talking. They're cutting a promo, right? They're they're doing. Are they not doing? Are we into a promo? Or is it just like a backstage segment? Regardless, whatever it is, you mentioned the line about hiding behind a woman. Mm-hmm. They'll both be standing behind Stephanie yes. during this promo yeah. directly, like to the point where you can barely see them. Like, they're just <laughs> Stephanie's on her like giant uh, her, her giant box that she's on when she's on yes. WWE TV to stand over the interviewers. Yeah. A box-like structure. <laughs> Kingston and Penta vs. Chaos Fury. Joseph put this match. Yes, I did, Louis. It's my, it's my work. I'm very proud of it. Joseph broke the news to me. Like, that was the first tweet I saw on my timeline when I yeah. woke up. Believe it or not, people don't seem to be really locked into the dark announcements. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it's a thing people are following closely. I'm going to be honest. Nah. All right. Yeah. Um... Joseph, we only have 11 minutes to book. Do we... Okay, what else do we... What, what other matches do we have blocked in for the pike? Yeah, we, should... we have Kelly and, and Britt, right? Yeah. Yeah, we need to do... I feel like we just need to do a short match 
and then one vignette, and then we're done with the show. Well, I think the vignette should be Kelly and um, Tim watching tape. Okay. You know? That's very simple. But I don't we know might not even need a short match, honestly. Yeah. Um, has the van shot on anyone? Not yet. Uh, Stephanie is holding a large sledgehammer, of course, always. Um, <laughs> I got it, Joseph. I know how to bring back the fiend. The f uh, she, he pulls the fiend desk through the ring. It's the depths of hell where she's about to win the money in the bank briefcase. Sure, man. Whatever it takes. <laughs> that shit's so bad, bro. Alright. Let, let's do... Who can we just like give a, an easy, quick win to? Um, what we're out, so what, what the pay per view is, we've got to figure out how we're doing Bob and Nate as well, which is the other problem. I thought we had that. Because set up. the reason is, we were supposed to turn Bob Hill. Yeah. But then we realized he's marrying Mrs. Holt. So we can't do that. So instead, they're just going to have like a, like it could really be as simple as Big E just being like, good match last week, Bob, respect. You know, I'll give you a title fight this weekend. It, it's that simple. Because. It's just we have to sacrifice that match because we can't have Bob as a heel. It's supposed to be a triumphant moment when he marries Mrs. Hole. It's that dude. Like it can be that simple of yeah. Biggie just does the promo and he's just like, respect you like your ass. Yeah. Big big meaty men bumping meat. Let's bump some meat at the pay per view. There you go. On, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly that. Um, okay, so that's all we've got for the pay per view, which is interesting. Um, I don't know, man. What, what other matches can we do at the pay per view? Should we figure that out? Oh, uh, we're doing, <laughs> we're doing, um, I don't know the tag why. stuff. Yeah, the tag, the tag stuff. stuff. Yeah. And New Day got to win the belts back now, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we got that. So that's four. I've got a takeover card. We're probably going to do a battle royal. Of course, tradition unlike any other. Is there one other like? Can we? Is there a program we can piece together? Is it something with like the stalker or someone? I'm like, mm. we don't really have the guys, do we? Nah, there's no sense in like trying to throw something together. We Just... need to do some stuff with the murder. What are we gonna? We need to, because remember at the pay per view, Natty or the murder in a muffled video message is gonna be like, I'll reveal myself right in two weeks. Right. So we need to have Lex like hot on the trout. What did they do last week? Okay. Let's do a quick match between... Because it's not going to matter. Let's do a quick match on this show and both people die. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Hey, we like we can throw anybody in this match. Any of the, you know, BPW, just kind of originals. Last week, they... Or Giant Gonzalez died last week. And the countdown started last week. Okay. We should do another... All right, okay, let me think about this. What happened with Giant Gonzalez? Like, he just... The bodysuit was left, right? Yeah, the bodysuit was left, yeah. I think we do a skit this week where Sherlock is like... He's got them looking at the bodysuit like it's an actual body, and they're doing like an autopsy. <laughs> and Stoke is like, I don't think you're going to get anything out of this, man. And he's like, see that? Made in China. <laughs> Lex is like... He really thinks they're getting somewhere because they're analysing an empty bodysuit. That's where I thought we should go with this. Okay, okay. So here's... I like that. Here's how we're going to, like, not set this up, but we're going to do a match between two dudes. Who cares? They're going to both die. But yeah. it's not It's not going to be shown on screen, like, like their death. So they're just going to do the match. The match is going to end. Whoever wins, wins. We go backstage. They're examining the bodysuit. Somebody comes in and is like, did you guys just see what happened? And it's basically like explain to them that they're dead. Okay. So okay. who are we killing? Let's kill huh? let's kill Gilberg. Come on. What? <laughs> did you have to did, here's the question. Did you have to choose the person that A has been on our show and B has had actual health issues? Did we have to do that? Can we not choose someone else who we don't neither of us have any connection or give a shit about? I, I was gonna know, say Gilberg because I was gonna set up Brooklyn Brawler coming in and explaining that that Goldberg is dead. Okay, I, look, I'm, I'm, I mean, it's, it's a, I, I can't really play the morality card here because we are killing everyone. So <laughs> feel free. He's going out on a win. Let's kill Gilberg and the Kiss Demon because I think again, Brooklyn Brawler can the way he can explain stuff of like okay. Goldberg is dead and Kiss is dead. 
and they're like, wait, the the band kiss? Yeah, that's good stuff. Yeah. All right. That's good stuff. And Stokes like, man, they haven't made a hit in years. Yeah. <laughs> they just died in the ring, god damn it. Um, Toby right. says here, Brian will be, Brian is in the last match. It's him, it's him and Volta. It's yeah. the last match. All right, Gilbert wins. Squash match. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then we do the scare and it's explained to them. Okay, I've got you. Yeah. I've got it. And then that's this show, right? Yeah. The same. Okay. We're moving at a decent pace here, folks. We're moving at a decent pace. Oh yeah. What sh what should we what should we do as our like T V main event next week? Um we'll get there when we get there. Okay. <laughs> 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 I'm tempted by a, a six person tag okay. where Steph wrestles I do not know if Steph can wrestle like if she can that match sounds hilarious to me I'm just saying shoot a Shane Paulie and Steph versus Alexa Sid and like Billy sounds like one of the greatest matches in wrestling history if, if we can have stuff rough, wrestle, we'll do it. Okay. All right. This is our match. Good? Or show? Whatever. Um, it looks great. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Vanessa Bourne's going to have to be the focus on the B show this week. That's the key, Jeremy. We have to remember that, okay? Fair. All right. Here we go. All right. Tremendous. B plus. Good. Very good. I hope no one gets injured that's like relevant in these last few weeks. Nah, uh, Joseph, don't don't put that out there. What are you okay. doing? I just I just fought it. And it, it no, what are you doing? You know. Keep that shit to yourself. You're right. This is a good show, by the way. It's going great so far. She just now debuted the Nature Boy gimmick. I mean. <laughs> 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 I mean, he beat him with a spear. That's it. That sounds like a good match in itself. Okay. Yeah, I want to do that. We need to have a look at Steph's contract after. It really is a shame that Bob just sucks. It's really yeah. not ideal. But... Yeah. Um, okay, let's look, at, let's look at Steph's situation, because if she can wrestle, that match would be tremendous TV. Okay. Uh. AJ Styles. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, it never involves <clears throat> in ring. Okay. Seems cowardly, but whatever. <laughs> okay, what we can do is we could do the same match. We could do Sid, Alexa, Britt versus Kelly and them two dipshits. Okay. There'll be a whole lot of stuff going on. Joseph, yeah, we, got a, we got a user that? point. Oh, wow. We're just Kurt Angle. Oh, fuck off, Kurt Angle. Why have we got a user point? Because we booked 100 shows. My God. Have you never uh, gotten to that much. point before? I am Cracker Joe. That's too much effort. No, I just didn't. I don't really pay attention to that stuff. <laughs> I always forget to do it, and then it sits there for an hour, and it's like, you have you still have 25 unused. And I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> we... You know, I'm good at, I want to have a ten at everything, Jeremy. I don't want to be doing this five on five shit. It's <laughs> plain. Okay. To be fair though, I legit probably haven't booked a hundred shows on one save for like It's been a while. Been a long, long time, Jeremy, I've got to be honest here. I am Gravy Jack. We we did something similar to Jeff Jarrett and it was a whole ordeal and it's just we're not gonna it's go through that again. Perfect. Um Oh man. Oh, what? Be fine. He's such a nice guy, bro. Yeah. Coolest. Oh my God, Stephanie the manager's bringing pizza. Oh how? Pizza. Right. Who's the van beating? Anybody? Who cares? Anybody? Yeah. I mean, I'd like to beat Cross, but I feel like you got to protect him as the tag team champion. So. Yeah. Um. What about Mike Sanders? Yes. Still waiting for the van to show up on AEW Dark, going to be honest with you. <laughs> Very sad at the lack of van AEW Dark stuff. She actually strikes me something that could land an impact and do like a skip backstage that goes wrestling viral for two hours and then is never mentioned again. That's my, that's my read on the situation, guys. 
Okay. Is Christmas based on the the mm -hmm. graphic gimmick here? Merry Christmas, everyone. Who Shit. We signed? Jeremy. Oh. What? Did we miss our Christmas? Do you remember the distraction? We were going to have our own Christmas every year at the same time. Remember we reviewed loads of Christmas films at a time that was definitely not Christmas. Do you remember this, Jeremy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shit. Here we go. This is our Christmas. But I need to know, like, where, like we, had a, we had a date locked in, man. I'm telling you, this was a big thing. We were going to do it every year. We, we stopped reviewing films and we lost our... We lost our, we heart. Lost our we way. Our, we forgot our roots. I mean, I appreciate the chat, you know, making this Christmas, but... Okay, hang on a second here, folks. Are you looking? I was going to look. I'm looking. I'm doing my best. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Probably haven't done this in the smartest way. <laughs> I typed in your username plus the word Christmas, thinking it would not, like... Oh, boy. Hang on a second. Okay, folks... It appears that our Christmas is in fact right now. <laughs> is it? We do not know this for sure. But we reviewed the Miz Christmas film next week. So like July, I think it's July 14th, 2020. So it appears increasingly likely that we are actually in Christmas right now. Not just in TW, but in real life too, folks. Okay. This can just proceed with this shit. Okay. Do we have anything to review on Monday? What are we doing for Monday's show? I don't know. Who cares? Oh, we're doing a Ring of Honor. I'm actually doing Ring of Honor. I'm not doing a bit. What are we doing for Monday's show? I have to do it. I'm sorry. I have to. I have to. Is three st Honor is real, bro. I haven't watched it so long. I've been planning for it. I'm sorry. But you don't have to join in, you could just turn your camera off. But I have to, I'm sorry, I have to. Now, now on Tuesday, we could do a Christmas celebration. No. Tuesday is the BP Dub media call. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wednesday? Are we going to stream on Wednesday for a Christmas celebration? Okay. Is tomorrow Santa's Slay Review July 7th? Oh, Santa's okay. Slay Review was July 7th? What? How? How are we gonna do this, Joseph? I don't know. This just—it's the post show. The post show will be a Christmas celebration. Okay. okay. All right. Till about eight. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> okay. This book is done. Bullshit. No right. <laughs> sitting here, I'm sitting here mapping out what my fake Christmas is. <laughs> I think it would be funny if Joe reviews Ring of Honor and Jeremy reviews a Christmas movie at the same time. That would be funny, yes. We've got PCO. That's fine. How many views do you think the RH review is going to do? More than the actual pay-per-view. Oh, now you're being mean. Honor is real, Jeremy. Never forget that. <sighs> Web victory for Prell. Best manager in the world. You, you nuked his stats so much. I did, but I made him an arsehole, so yeah. like it balanced out. Tyler Breeze is, is here as the girl next door. Good stuff. Where do you think Breeze is going to go? Like, just um, guessing. Um, I think that... Hmm. <clears throat> I kind of just feel like he's like an impact guy. I could see him doing some part time as Chucky's new partner while Trent's out. Oh. Are they friends? I have no idea, but the confirmed shoot pitched it to me and I do think he'd be very good in that role, you know? Okay. He'd be a good best friend, wouldn't he? You know? Yeah. I, 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 saw, I, I, I truly Here here's my here's my honest take on Breeze. I think he ends up back in WWE. I I think he, he takes less. He wants to remain part of up, up, down, down, and everything. Because that ain't happening if he's on AEW or Impact or anything like that. Yeah. It's just, it's not going to happen. I think he has such a bond with those guys that he just takes less and ends up back in WWE. Okay. I'm going to comment on that. <laughs> That's just my thoughts. No, I'm not, not your, I just, you know, it's weird. I don't know. Okay. Go. 
Walter. I like how we have like all this like good talent now, and we're just not gonna actually use them. Yeah, it's definitely unique how we've approached this situation. It really is. Oh, the best high flyer in the world, Jeremy. Mm. When are we resuming glow reviews on the distraction? Never. <laughs> Never, ever, ever. <laughs> the poor glow. We tried to, we tried to review that, and literally in the middle of the show, Sean is like, "Hey, you want your Tuesday show to just be on Twitch, and you guys can do whatever the fuck you want." And I'm like, "Yeah, that sounds much better than not trying to force ourselves to review well, these shows we don't want to review." <laughs> just good TV shows, like reviewing those, like we're fucking, <laughs> like we're some sort of real podcast around here. It's terrible. <laughs> Easily the worst pop we've ever done. The glow review? Mm. Yeah, actually, there's some, there's some contenders for that. Nah, the interview we did with that one dude, that was our worst podcast. Yeah, the Christmas podcast was terrible too. Remember that one? I didn't have a mic and we just fucking lost our minds talking about the Big Show show. Remember that? Oh, yeah, that one wasn't good either. I mean, I feel yeah. like all of our shows are bad, so... Yeah, I'd kind of... People enjoyed last week's show. And I was, I like the post. I like Twitch shows. I'm a lot more happy with those. The, the YouTube show is like, it just feels weird. It's like a weird like. If it was like an edited version of ourselves, now we do so much on Twitch. You know, it's a strange vibe. I can't explain it. I oh, know. I like the the. I, I truly do love the the main shows. Some, the the movie review stuff got, got really bad by the end. Oh, I like we were... doing them. It's just. It's weird. It's it's just a weird thing. It's like it's like us going and having these wonderful live event matches and then doing like a tight twelve minutes on TV. You know, so like we do good stuff, but it feels like a, a limited version of ourselves. That's all. Yeah, that's that's the pay per view, Joseph. the The weekly show is the pay per view. Yeah, there you go. What happened on AEW's Law of the Jungle? <laughs> Omega and Matt Hardy beat the Young Bucks in the main event. <sighs> Not sure about this Matt Hardy thing that's going on over there, man. <laughs> Not sure. Hey, that's yeah. pretty awesome. Like, 107,000 pay per view buys is like. That's like accurate metrics. Is that at least? Where is the Jungle Boy? Law of the Jungle has no Jungle Boy. He was in Luchasaurus' corner for the opener against the Blade. Oh, man, they buried the Blade right before he's about to join us. Cowards. All right, I have to do a very quick article, Joseph. Okay. That's fine. The Dark Order explode. <laughs> the Dark Order, they do feel like a kindred spirit of sorts to the BP dub that we've, that we've mapped out here. Yes. Um, oh, God. Oh, God. What is Bob? What happened? Oh, no. Oh, Bob is going in trouble with the crew again. Oh, dear. I'm, I'm truly sorry to see this. Oh, God, Joseph. Why does he do this, Jeremy? He's got to stop at some point. God damn it. What did he do? He's getting involved in, like, Google Trend debates now. Oh, God. Why? By the way, why do people think Hangman was being serious with that tweet? What did he tweet? Like, he quote tweeted that thread and was like, someone's trying to make a, like, a story out of my personal struggles or something like wow. that. And people, people think he's actually, like, hating on the guy that wrote it. Like, do you know anything about that dude's personality? <laughs> like, Hangman's the coolest dude ever, as if he didn't do anything but love that thread. Dude, Hangman is the coolest dude ever. He's fucking awesome. One of the very few guys in this business that... I would be upset if they were a dumb fuck. And I'm not like, because I'm a mega fan, I just actually think he seems like a smart, switched on guy. Yeah. That's a guy, when we were talking about people to like, interview and stuff. Yeah. That's a guy I feel like in St. Louis, we could sit down and like, talk to him and do some great shit. One of my favorite interviews when I interviewed him a couple years ago. He was just so, he was so good. Smart guy too, educated guy. Yeah. Um, he he never feels like he's trying to you know pandering or trying to win over anyone on t on Twitter. It's just like that's just who he is. It's just a good dude. Yeah, it's good shit. Um, and and I think that's important. You know, we try to avoid stuff that's like just 
you know, out of the ring Twitter talk. But I do think it's cool if we're actually moving towards a world in which he's the ace of A-Dub. What a good guy to rep their brand, you know? Seemingly, again, seemingly. We don't know these people. Um, oh, man. You know when stuff happens, like, I really do. It's cool that everyone's tweeting about Terry Funk, but it's kind of sad as well. Yes. <clears throat> the timeline just, like, fills up with imagery, and it gets really sad. Like, I'm not saying don't tweet. Because I tweeted. I'm just saying it's a bummer. Um, yes, the chat agrees that Hangman fucking rules. They're doing a time limit draw on Rampage with Omega, right? Dude, I love that you just you just booked that like everyone else has suggested it without realising that's like a very unique suggestion. <laughs> it's a good one. That rules. I love that idea. It's way better than doing it at the pay-per-view. We talked about, um, you mean Omega Hangman on Rampage? Yeah, that's, that's a really good idea. Like, if you're not going to do the title change, doing a, the first ever episode of a show and making an hour draw is one of the most, like, interesting ideas I've heard. Genuinely. We, that's we, fascinating to me. We talked about last week, I don't remember if it was on our main show or on our Twitch yeah. show, but because it seems like they're going with the Omega Hangman stuff now, it's like, how do you stretch this until... Right. September and we yeah we threw out a bunch of ideas. I don't think we had time limit draw on there. Maybe we did, but I do like the idea of uh, that that match happening on the debut of Rampage and mm. going an hour though. That's strong. Like because the idea of it is just how how hard is it to make a TV episode that people always remember nowadays? Yeah. Well, doing a debut episode where it's just the whole show is them two having one match for an hour. I mean, that's that would be outrageous. That would be incredible. I really, really love that. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know. I and mean, that's the thing, Riley. I don't know if you run it back at the paper or not. I'll let I'm Cracker Jet book it because that was, you know, it was his masterpiece initially. But I, I do like that a lot. I mean, you got to run it back at the pay per view, right? Like, it depends how you frame it, right? Like, if you, if you frame it as just like he couldn't beat the champ let other contenders get ahead you can no, do that in delay no, no, no. see I, I i think the framing is omega couldn't beat him and Maybe. that and that sort of drives omega of like i know i can beat you and everything and hangman actually gets confidence from just going right. to the draw like dark order like you see like it's a an hour he you know he beat you however however quickly in the the first match like an hour and he couldn't beat mm-hmm. you like I, I think that's how you frame it to, to do the rematch yeah no I think that there's a lot of I, I love I just love this whole angle I love that it, it inspires people to be creative with their fantasy book and I actually like that part of the culture yes this is a great example of it being a good thing like people are just having fun with it man they're playing with the dynamics at hand it's really good so like for example so I'm Cracker Jack went your route Jeremy and agree with your take that that's how you should do it Ray said Hangman needs to no show number contender match um, and Dark Order finds him backstage drunk and then he gets suspended for 30 days and he rebuilds and, and I, I like that too a lot that's I like bad. the idea of self-sabotage yeah Hangman Page he's great character great arc great pro wrestling man he really is it's good shit very good shit Meanwhile, in Gotham, Trent Seven won the NXT WWE UK title last night. Sorry to see that. I mean, I'm not really. That seems fine. All of this fantasy booking just for Mira to squash him a month in. <laughs> a month. Joseph said a month. I was trying. To, I was booking that thing like yeah, the, next the next dynamite. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to rein you in because we, there was just some weird people in the chat, and I was like, oh, Ash is kind of popular now. Yeah, it sucks. Like, you know how when we do this show, we just have, like... We know almost everyone in the chat. <laughs> we just, like... We have this fun dynamic. Man. Man, do I miss that now when I look at the YouTube chat. Fuck. It's a real shame. But this is what happens when you get somewhat over. Yeah, it's, it's horrible. Like, I... I don't want people following me. I don't... I don't want people like dissecting takes or anything. Like, <laughs> shit. Yeah, it's not ideal. 
Man, AEW Dark tonight is a distraction moment in history, i got to say. The Twitch streams are for those hipster distraction fans. That's strong. I like that. I like that. This is where our real good shit is. These are the mixtapes, bro. <laughs> if finished properly, is the Hangman arc one of the best in recent history? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. If it isn't finished properly, it's one of the best. If it's finished properly, it could be the best. It's very simple. In US wrestling... What are the other great wrestling arcs in US wrestling? Because, I mean, we love the Sting one, but that, you talk about not finished properly, that one's terrible at the finish. Yeah, that one. It's still a great arc. Like, Yeah, that's that's one of the best just by how good the build is. Yeah. So just, I think Hangman would be the same. Yeah. Hangman's obviously, it's not as significant in terms of, like, impact on the, the business, but if you finish it correctly. All right, let's book this uh, final show right first. Okay. Final TV so, show. What did I go with in the end? The sixth person, right? With yeah, Britt and Kelly. Kelly yeah. yeah, Kelly. Shane. Didn't she so you feud with lot. these? Didn't she feud with them? I don't know, but I, I like the idea of like, then you have this weird dynamic where, <laughs> where Shane, like Steph is fearful that they're going to, you know, she's going to be jealous when right. Kelly's around. But like Shane is like, he can't fathom. He's like, why would we do that when you're here? So, like, well, you, I'm your sister. It's all it's very... <laughs> Yeah. There's a lot of layers here. And obviously you have the Brit and Alexa dynamic. All right, I who's, think... So Stephanie's going to be on a distraction here. She's going to distract Shane. Yeah, the Naito arc is a good one, Riley. I agree with that. Um, All right, who's winning this thing? I think Brit is going to win and Alexa's going to do all the work. Okay. Does that make sense? Like, Brit gets to pin over one of the dipshits. Alright, she can pin Heyman. Yeah. And like Alexa and Sid do all the work and like she's looking Alexa's looking at Sid as if to say, You see what I'm talking about? Like look at this shit, you know? Okay. That's still I think. Alright. Alright, what's the what's the cold open? Wow. Wow. We need like a What if what if the cold open what if we don't we actually don't have a cold open this <gasps> week? We open with it's still kind of cold, but we we just got Brian and Moxley in the ring, and and we do contract signing. This is the thing. Okay, I, I just feel like on the last episode of the year we need to do. Fair. We need to do a bit where Brit is like, "What a year! Another championship." Okay. This weekend we close out in style, but to inspire us all, as we head into a sixteen, uh, sorry, a six man. I saw the chat. I'm very confused. A six, <laughs> six person tag. I thought we would really assign our greatest moments in 2021. Roll the tape, and it's just nothing but Brit highlights. Like, they cut out every <laughs> single thing that everyone else did. And Alexa's like, but she's like budging Sid as if so. Like, is, is she kidding right now? That kind of deal. All right. I like that. Cause it's a, we, we, now, again, and Rag gets it here. He says a retrospective before the whole thing blows up. Yeah. Remember, BPW is blowing up as, as, you know, in totality, but this particular empire that Brit has built in the next 12, you know, 14 days or whatever it is. Is about to collapse. Shakespearean level stuff going on. Good. All right, I I, I want to do just a Moxley and Brian like contract segment or whatever, just because it can easily mm-hmm. fill ten minutes. Yes. No. Yeah. We should definitely do that. Okay. Yeah. We we had to do a talking segment with those guys. So like yeah. whatever it is, yeah. it's your contract. So I don't remember. I, I like your. I I definitely like this though. The championship video. Do we still have PN news? We do. We can do PN pals with Moxley. Yeah, I think Brian would be fucking awesome at that. Don't you think? think? I think we do. We might have actually fired him. No, no, we didn't. Okay. I'm not you rating. Like I'm not rating him no. on anything because he'll fuck he it sucks. Up. Yeah. Yeah. I like the idea of Brian having like a sheet of paper in here. Like he's he's done like a whole song. <laughs> <laughs> Mox just doesn't like. He doesn't even rap at all. He's just be tremendous. Yes, we are sure that match needs to go 15 minutes, Rishi. We, we need it to. Yeah. We gotta it's a have... dream match. It's a dream match, goddammit. All right. What's what's our opening match? I think we, we open with... Oh, we got to do Lashley and Big E. Do we want to give like Lashley a, a win, like a bounce back win? And then... Yeah, as the opening match and then do a backstage segment. I think mean, that's the way, yeah. Okay. What music goes with the video package? Leave the memories alone, obviously. <laughs> Always leave the memories alone. 
Uh, Lashley's going to beat... I do love that. I love that. Well, hang on a second. What? (laughs) I've only just realized that Larry's a heel. (laughs) (laughs) I do... That that, um, Leave the Memories Alone video is, like, the funniest shit ever, right? Like... Like, it's, it's very much a tribute, but it's also like, please, now, Rick, will you just stop? And he's like, no. <laughs> It'll never change, man. They, said, they told us the case. Um, Alexa Britton said of the beautiful people with Billy Gunn, but better. Holy shit. That wasn't where I was going with this, but I appreciate the, uh, appreciate the, the link. A lot of awkward silence. When the, when the beautiful people came out in the last TNA part I did with Bob... I was just looking at Bob like, you're going to say about someone killing you, or are you just, or what are you going to do? Are you going to ask him to murder you yet, Bob, or are you? He wasn't playing ball. <laughs> okay, Big E wants to slap me. Tremendous. Good job. Should we make this a storyline, or do we, not, do we care? No, who cares at this point? <laughs> All right. And we need just saying in the middle, basically, right? Uh, yeah, we'll do a quick match. Um, we, I need to do something with the the tag titles. We need to do something. What, I, we'll do a quick match with the, the tag title. Let's we'll just give, like, New Day, like, a quick win, and then a New Day. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, so what was the last thing we did with them? I have no idea. We didn't do anything last week. I'm not sure we did anything in two weeks. Oh, yeah, Cross won. That set up them getting... The, the title match. Um, all right, so New Day's gonna win, and then just magic, magic. shit's gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do we? How do we? Can we link this to Sherlock in some way? Yes, we can. I'll figure that out after I do something with Kofi. Anything? I, I actually think we do a big. Like, I think the angle this week, dude, is incredibly somehow some way Sid gets like some sort of location just to trace down to track from the bodysuit of giant Gonzalez he gets there and there's just one cat just one cat one menacing looking cat staring back at him and Stoke and it's like you know dun 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 kind of situation because okay. then at the pay-per-view we're going to the video thing right yeah my god do you beat Mike Sanders at every- like whenever you get a chance to beat a heel it's Mike Sanders <laughs> you have no <laughs> They're just picking people, man. The van Wait. is making some trademarks. What does this mean, JJ? Is she trademarked her name or something? Yeah, she trademarked the fetish. Sorry? The fetish? It's for t-shirts. Oh, God. I don't know. Oh, God. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. Fine, we'll beat the goon. Not that, Joseph. Oops. Whatever. The goon and Michael Tarver. It's actually the fetish. Yeah. Told you. <laughs> I thought you was ripping me. No. I, that was the article I was writing. Oh, I didn't realize she was going to go that route. That's very different. <laughs> Lady Frost. Hmm. Yeah. She... I might have to retract my endorsement of this whole situation. Uh, okay. Now, Lady Frost is... Uh, that's a different wrestler. Oh. Yeah, Vanessa Bourne did not trade. I was very confused. Oh, they're two different things. Okay. I was like, that's that's an incredible pairing of things. (laughs) Who is Lady Frost? She's a wrestler. She's she's on NWA. Oh, okay. Yeah. (laughs) My God. I'm gonna I'm gonna just keep the cards close to the vest on that one, because that seems like something everyone's gonna at me on. I do not really enjoy that. Okay. (laughs) Let's proceed. Right. Where are we at? If we need to do the magic deal, right? Yeah. And then same with Stoke and Sherlock's. Yeah. And then we're out of here, really. Okay. Lady Frost is on AEW. No, I'm sorry, guys. I'm really... Uh, for the first time, yeah, I saw that Danny Jesus. Jordan. What? What happened? Nothing. I, I was, I was uh, sighing over you not knowing who Lady Frost is. I don't know anyone is. I saw that Danny Jordan for the first time last night, the one that has the insult book. Uh-huh. She's good. I liked her match with Sheeta. It was very, very good, actually. She should be on TV. It was better than most of the matches they've been around on TV recently. <laughs> it was good. I liked that. I like Kylie King. 
these are the ones I've picked up on the sea show so far. <laughs> Very out of the loop. All right, here's okay. here's the magic, Joseph. You ready? We've yep. not done, we've not done this uh, bit, and I, I think it it speaks to the incompetence of the craws and the doink. So here's the magic. They're on the screen. They're like, we got a we got a surprise for you, and then bootios rain down on Kingston and Xavier and you know they're reaching up like they're trying to eat it they're swimming in the bootios and they're, like they're just having a great time they think this is great and Cross and Doink are just very confused as to why these men find this cereal so great because they're incompetent fair. you see they're fools she's very fair I'm on board with all of this I'm going to be honest with you Jeremy I'm currently looking through my selection of Robert O'Neill images oh, this in order to share the best reaction to this Vanessa Bourne nose. <laughs> and the one I want, ideally, is the one where he's wearing the fiend mask. But I'm yet to find it, which is very sad. Okay. How much longer do we have this show? Um, we're just about done. I believe we're doing four minutes on this and then we're doing five minutes on Sherlex and then that's our show. Tremendous, tremendous ability to kill time here on the, on the two, Doug. Okay. And I've got a lot of dumb images on my phone, I'm going to be honest with you. It's not... I don't know how to feel just, about that. Like, then nothing risque, like, stuff that I could easily share. It's just, it's just a lot. Like, it's, it's a lot to have this many images of Robert O'Neill's face. Yeah, why do you have that many images uh, on your phone? He just has a tremendous face. <laughs> like, his face just rules. Like, I don't know what... I... Okay, I'm posting the one. Guys, I have now shared a reaction to this finessable information. All right, Joseph, there is... <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we... <laughs> That's our show. Make sure it's okay. Okay, I will. Oh man, it's not just okay, Jeremy. This is an incredible show. It's one of our best ever shows. <laughs> Good right. stuff. Alright, here we go. Oh man, look at the oh, goats. Shit. Look at the goats. Leave the memories alone in these <laughs> folks. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Damn, you're right, I am Cracker Jet. That would have been better. The Macho Man hat. That photo is one of the funniest photos ever. But anyway. I was watching a Nitro the other day and a guy had that hat on. <laughs> it popped me tremendously. Okay. This was good. Biggie got yeah. Bob over. Yeah, Biggie rules. I just posted a story on Biggie on Fightful.com. Everyone go check it out. My God. Listen to the New Day pod this morning. It's weird, that pod just, like, never... Like, they're just, that's just going to go forever, right? Like, because I was on the... You know, the... Um, you and I speculated that the Alexa Bliss's podcast was halted because she's the fiend? Yeah. You know who else's podcast got just, like, weirdly cut off? Was Swerve's. It moved to the network. And it just, like, they did a season. Like, you know how Alexa's now? Yeah. Like, season one, we'll be back. Then I'll yeah. be back. That happened to Swerve, but he had a podcast before. <laughs> so they must have, like, just paid him for it. And he was like... Okay, that's the end of it, season one. He was like, okay, whatever. I don't know, it weirded me out, because I know that he was doing it before the network. Had yeah, it, it is... It's weird, that the stuff, that stuff they want to control. Because, like, I like Swerve's podcast. Because he not... Like, he talked a little... He got... First off, he got, like, some good names on it. And, yes. like, they talked wrestling, but they also, like, they talked, like, a lot of music and stuff. And so... Like, for me, it, it was one of those podcasts where, like, for, like, story-wise, there wasn't, like, a ton on there mm -hmm. but like to like actually like get to know the wrestlers and their their taste outside of wrestling a little bit better it was right. really good um and i don't know why they end up dropping it from the network it seemed like once they moved to peacock i was like all right this shit's done the cock yeah he's yeah. i think he's a sleeper candidate for big bald big bald acclaim you know i really yeah. do the stink something there i see i see the pieces of the puzzle i'm still yet to see it put together in the way that i would like it to but that's not his fault. I I like it. There's a lot there. I mean, I remember when doing him doing stuff with MLW, and he was like, okay, 
you saw it, right? Yeah. But like now he's got this hit row thing. It's like wow, there's there's some money to be made. Oh fuck! And imagine doubt in this brain. Imagine <laughs> doubt in this shit. <laughs> hey, imagine. Then wasn't fucking exhausted. Dude, imagine Alexa running. You know when she does the Lou Fre- like Lufez press comeback? She does yeah. the Steve Austin one. Yeah. Imagine Paul Lee trying to feed that shit, bro. Wow. Just blown sky high, falling all over the ring, taking Terry Funk bumps through the ropes. Like, he... Special. Special shit. Paul's never getting in shape here, man. He's been complaining about his push for a year. <laughs> it is what it is. Like, we, you know, it's, we should probably just stop making him wrestle. We're not going to stop making him wrestle. It is what it is. <laughs> Yes, still very charismatic guy. That's worth. Uh, fuck off, Angle. All right. He's always telling us how to book this stuff, man. I've had enough of it. <laughs> oh man, Strong B as the Go Home Show. Oh man, we're back. The power is back. <laughs> All right, we got to run through this pay per view in about forty-five minutes. Oh, what did Alexa do well? Most entertaining wrestler <laughs> in the world. I think she's got that before. Which is that was be. the poll of one that I run every week on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Even I wouldn't run that one at the minute. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, who's winning? Kelly Kelly? Um, Give her a big win? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. This is probably her last ever match on the B-Show if we're shooting because she's, she's you know, this is what she's done for a year. She's put the work in. Yeah. So this weekend, she's promoted to Women's Champ, yeah. you know? Uh, she, uh, who, Tank Abbott. Factual. Two shooters. Have we ever done that match before? I have no idea. We haven't actually. Fresh matchup. Man. First time ever match. <laughs> what a match it is. Oh man. <laughs> Kelly was okay. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna tweet that we're about to run our pay per view here. Okay. A dub contract offer, Germany. A dub contract offer. This could be this could be anyone, dude. This could be TK. <laughs> it won't be TK, but it could be uh, I don't know some other dumb comedy wrestler. Someone's gonna need to at some point explain to me what Baron Corbin's doing on TV because I uh, no one knows. Uh, Google Trends is still on my Twitter feed. I'd like to know. Sorry to hear that. I'm running down the card for this pay per view and my tweet, so people are like, what in the fuck are these lunatics doing? Very fair. We've actually done good viewership today. I don't know why. Usually this, this show does very poorly. I mean, it's a it's a big show, Joseph. It's our second to last episode. Apparently so. Wait until we do. Uh, wait until our the red wedding next week after we have the media call to hype it up. Like, yeah, it's over. Yeah, that would definitely reach people that don't already watch our show. The media call. <laughs> there we go. Tweeted, I've tweeted the link. I'm gonna retweet it from the Fightful account. Because I have that oh, it really is awful that, that Vanessa Bonsor has got three quote tweets. One of them is JJ at and me. The other one is me with a Bob O'Neill picture. <laughs> <sighs> Some people just ain't in the news around like that. It's a shame. All right, here we go. All right, AW contract offer. Who are we thinking for? Drug drama for Brian Kendrick. Seems bad. All right. That's awful. Dude, can I just say, I really don't get why this stuff's in the game. I'm going to shoot. I get it, Sim. Do you really need it? I don't know. Okay. All right. Who are we hoping this. for? Here we go. Big Bunny. Luther. Oh, man. Oh, man, Joseph. Yeah. What are we doing I'm not with them? I'm not splitting them up. Yeah, they're great. You don't want to kill no them one. either. <laughs> I mean, it's true, but I, like... I don't know if we want to frame this as how we want to kill everyone that's in our promotion by the time it ends. Like, it feels like a slippery slope, you know? <laughs> but I would rather we not kill John Moxley and Alexa Bliss. They have simply signed up for this. It is what it is. <laughs> All right, we won't split them until, you know, two two things later, it's going to say Santana has a contract coming up, and then... That's a different thing, yeah. That's but we, we might thing. miss out on Ortiz by then. Santana's better anyway. Wow. We're gonna split them up. At least get the good one. I'm joking. <laughs> hey, 
I've got a shirt. I supported him on Prairie and Tees. What did you do? Okay, <laughs> no, don't get mad at me. I like, I love that team. I, I just think they're great. All right. Happy New Year, folks. Sheamus, Sheamus. went to oh. AEW. My God. The All Elite Fleet. <laughs> oh shit, man. <laughs> wow. Wow, game changer. That is big. All right. I'm literally hearing in my head. I can see the tweets, you know. <laughs> like you guys hated on him for all those years, but now he's fire. LOL, you know like that kind of thing. Tremendous. Okay. Here we go, Jeremy. Pay per view time. We have five. We're running the garden. We're running MGM, baby, in Vegas. Wow, we're gonna get hammered. And like, <laughs> like all the rest is gonna be like, wow, you guys are really celebrating. So like, yeah, we are. We ain't got many time. We ain't got many chances to do this left, you know. And they're like, what are you talking about? We go listen. Just, just, just take our word for it, okay? Enjoy tonight. Oh, I hope Kurt Angle shoots on Nathan Jones. Dude, we are running Vegas on New Year's Eve. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we fucking rule Eric Bischoff <laughs> tribute troops. <laughs> oh, All right, here we go. Let's add everything from the pre-booking, and then we'll organize it. All right. Okay. The last match we did with these, it was like 13. We should probably just try and do that again. I know that he got exhausted, but the match was pretty good. Yeah, okay. I know this doesn't have Brit, but, like, still Sid and Alexa, and even Shane, you know, it can work, right? All right, so Alexa wins. Alexa gets the victory. Um, yeah, I think you do. You know the gimmick she did with Braun where she did Twisted Bliss off of his shoulders? Yeah. I think you do that deal. That's what I think you would do. My, my thinking is Alexa gets the, the victory here because, you know, she does, she's been doing all the work but hasn't gotten the victory. Yeah. So here, here's the finish, Joseph. Here's the finish. You ready? Mm-hmm. Um, she does that. She does the Twisted Bliss, and, like, Sid gets back on the apron, and, like, Alexa goes to tag him, and then Sid's like, no, what are you doing? Like, take you've done the work. Like, you take the, the, the pin here. Oh. And, and Alexa's like, oh, you know, I'm just used to getting tagged or tagging out. And Sid's like, no, this is yours. This is your victory. That's the finish, Joseph. Okay. Okay, I like that. My, my one concern, and this is not about your finish, it's about my overall direction here, is we're making Sid too likable considering the payoff. But, you know, what are you going to do? Right? We got it. Because remember, Sid, the last time you'll ever see Sid before the whole promotion blows up is him <laughs> like a dog chasing after a softball. Yeah, he needs to be likable. He needs to be sympathetic, right? Yeah, but at some point, Alexa's is also taking advantage of him, so it's very hard to. I'm, I, I, I'm with it. Again, Alexa is taking advantage of him, so like I'm trying to get some sympathy. Yeah. Like Alexa's not like fully innocent on this. Sid is. He needs to be likable. I feel like. But Alexa is the baby face. Is my point. But it's, it's fine. But she's also taking advantage of him. How much is a baby face is she? Well, I think we. That's why we need to be careful. With we need to maintain that. Like, she's. She's doing this because Brit deserves it, and she's using Sid to tear Brit's empire down, basically. Um, that's the like, because you know, Alexa's then gonna, she's gonna allow Nia and Bob to get married, you know. So that's the difficulty. He has to be sympathetic, but not exactly likable. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he is like. To be fair, he's gonna like completely forget Alexa. To accept Brit's marriage, and then Lex is gonna have to maneuver and manipulate him. Then, so like, yeah. he's an idiot, basically. Ignore yeah, him, he's ignore an him. idiot. Yeah, that's fine. It doesn't matter. <laughs> All right. Um, who who takes the pinfall here? Doesn't matter. Oh, Shane, definitely Shane. Okay. Fuck <laughs> Shane. Just fuck Shane. <laughs> Stephanie is uh, distracting Shane once again. He sucks. <laughs> Not a fan of Shane. All right, uh, Biggie and and Lashley. So Biggie's gonna win. Is this win after the match? So after the match, like Lashley is just gonna be like maybe backstage and <laughs> Lashley's backstage. He's changing or whatever. He had a hard match in the shower. You know that meme of Anthony Davis peeking around the corner. Yes. It's that, but with Naya. And she, from what I remember, the bit here was Naya's seeking love. Yeah. But she doesn't fall in love with Bob 
because she sees his face for his eyes. She just sees his ass. Right. Sees him in the shower, and she's peeking Holy around. Holy shit. <laughs> I didn't realize we were going there. Okay, one. She's peeking around the corner. I just didn't. I, I missed the shower part. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's showering after the match. Okay, I just, I'm not. I don't know how we're shooting this, Jeremy. That's all. Uh, you know. <laughs> this shit, we should give this time, right? Like. 16? I mean, Bob has exclusively sucked, but yes, on this card, it should get time. Yeah. Piggy yeah. right, wins. Okay. okay. I'll set up the shower scene. Shower scene. Bob's, Bob's ass. Now, now here's what you do. Here, here's the thing here. If you want to do a shower scene, we have to do... Uh, we have to later go back to the shower, and someone needs to be murdered with a knife in the shower. Psycho okay. style. We All have right. to do that. All right. We'll do that on this show. We'll do this That's like a, that is an elite way for Natty to kill someone. To yeah. be fair, we'll, we'll you know? do that at, near the end of the show. We will do yes. the shower yes. murder. <laughs> Lashley, Nia will be entertainment. Lashley's sex appeal because all you're seeing is his ass. <laughs> We've gone. This 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 whole thing needs to end. <laughs> all right, <laughs> Kelly and Britt, big match. I mean, how long can we actually give this? I think we can give this like 13 or so. Are you thinking shorter, longer? I kind of want to go longer, but I just okay. don't have it go well. Let's do 15. Okay, let's do that. All right, Kelly wins. What's the finish here, Joseph? I think Kelly just wins here. Okay. I really do. All I'm right. kind of. I like the idea of Rick just like. She actually loses because she hasn't got their help, which is enough to mean she can't beat Kelly, you know? And also, it pays off Kelly's arc because Kelly all started with a loss to Brit and then she became the nature gal. So, that's where I think we're going here, folks. Clean win. Bringing the business back. Pure. Honor is real. <laughs> the real world's champ, exactly. Oh, God. Why have I got 14 notifications? What have you done wrong now? Oh, fuck. Bob O'Neill was like... People like Bob O'Neill. It's a shame. Agreed. He appears to have... He appears to be claiming I'm using his... His, uh, his name and likeness for engagements, which is true. I mean, I you know, I, I wasn't even trying to frame Bob as the pervert there either. I was merely using him as a human cowboy hat emoji. <laughs> which was better. Alright, Kelly wins. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, boy. One of the, honestly, one of the funniest things in Destruction history was you being like, yeah, she trademarked like the fetish. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Are you actually... <laughs> Is that where we're going with this? And I look, clicked on the eye. I was like, "Oh god, that's actually what's happening." <laughs> that's tremendous. All right, there we go. Good luck, Sean. Good luck, my friend. Um, I hope you get a promotion, pal. What's up? Sean's got a, a, an interview. Job oh, promotion. Good luck, Sean. Hope it goes well. Tell him if you need references. We'll, we'll gladly give you a good reference. <laughs> the guys that are current discussion the fetish. <laughs> <laughs> let us know how it goes sean if we need to murder anybody we're 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 adapt at that too i'm worried about how much we talk about death on this show you know yeah becoming an increasingly morbid program yeah this on one hand like i i feel like this needs to get time because the new day are very good and so we can do yeah. something good on the other hand i just feel like this should just be a squash <laughs> No, I think we need to do a match. I, I agree with your sentiment, and I think maybe we on TV we do a squash. Like, cause that's the thing, right? Like, this next TV should just be rematches. <laughs> like, it just should be. Like, why wouldn't we run back these matches? So, we can do a squash there here. Okay. With three hours to fill this. Give them some time. All right, that's fair. I'm still popping about that. It's really the fetish? It's just, it isn't that. It's the way that we 
that played out on, on air. Right. But the way that you didn't frame it as though it was a funny nickname made me assume you were joking. <laughs> but then it was just the actual nickname, and it, it just... This is going pop like me. 30? Yeah, that's fine. 30, 30 works for these two. Okay. Saying that, Brian's been, like, increasingly disappointing, which is very sad, because he's the GOAT. He'll be good. Let's do, let's do like, a, an epic. It's going to be an epic match. Okay. All right. Cool. I mean, if anyone can do it, it's these two guys. Yeah. All right, Brian wins the title. Okay. So I have 31 minutes to fill, which shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, so we're going to do a battle royal. Is there anything else we could possibly do? We need to do something with, with obviously, the killing. Yeah, who's getting murdered in the shower? Who's been a pain? Should we kill PN News? Should we do PN News? We can kill PN News, yeah. I mean, you got you got one last TV payday. We do have to remember who we've killed, though, when we're booking this Battle Royale. That feels important. Eh, I mean, yeah. Okay, so we're going to kill... So PN News is dead in the shower. Indeed. I like the idea of Smash cutting to PN News in the shower. <laughs> Where does one go with a wrestling nickname with the fetish? I don't fucking know, dude. I've never had that experience. <laughs> okay. I mean, Impact Wrestling feels like the answer. <laughs> but then again, Don's not there anymore, so maybe not. All right. Um, let's, let's just do like a 15-man battle royal since we've killed so many people. Yeah, and a lot of people can't debut yet. Yeah. Then. Okay. So. Wait, are Denise and Cass beefing on Twitter? Is that a joke, Ray? I don't know. Who? Ray said Denise is shooting on Cass. I assume she, he's, she's joking. Yeah. Oh, okay. My God, Tope Suicida is getting deep in the weeds. Yeah, she's joking. He's getting deep in the weeds on this stuff. I'm going to step in and defend Cass, though. Okay. Um, I'm talking about the fetish stuff, not that. Okay. Um, I, I, Tope Suicida, please save yourself and, and log off the stream immediately before you get yourself put on some sort of list. Um... <laughs> Gabe tried to book one of those gimmicks. Got himself in trouble. <laughs> Bless Gabe. Dude, did you see? <laughs> did you see that clip where Mick Foley comes out with the fire extinguisher and he's like, a tribute to all the people that was there for 9-11? Actually said that on a wrestling show. Have you ever seen this, Jeremy? No. Holy fuck. Like, I didn't... I must have seen this before because that stuff's the stuff I've seen, but like... Mick comes out of a fire extinguisher and he's on an he's on commentary and he's like, ah, tribute to 9-11. Like, the first, first, Jesus. first responders. And he says it like anyone else in the world like had that read on it. Like, oh yeah, this is what it is. <laughs> Insane. Okay. Um, all right, Horowitz can work. Indeed. Brawler, Booty Pro, Curry Man, Glacier... Wow, a lot of deaths there in that little section. <laughs> Lanny? Lanny's alive, right? He's alive. Okay. Wesley Hansen, he's going to win. He's not dead, is yeah. he? Yeah! No, never. Actually, the van is going to win. Yes. <laughs> it's weird now that we seem to have the more, like, believable name for her than she may be using herself. <laughs> That's fun, right? <laughs> Is the Shockmaster like dead? Is the Yeti I mean, dead? I don't know if half these people are dead. Just put them in there. Okay. We just pretend someone else under the hood. Um, there we go. The Stalker's not dead. Some of the ROH stuff is good. I'm Crackerjack. Like, some of Gabe's stuff was good. And he was very cutting edge for the time, because he earned the respect of, like, old-timey wrestling folks as, like, the weird, dorky, modern guy. He's just a bit of a dumb fuck. Tamina. We have Tamina. Yeah, this Battle Royal sucks. And the goons. Right, right. hear that. All right, the van's going to win. Okay. We'll just have the shit go like 13 minutes. <laughs> so, some, by the way, I missed it in the chat because I was concerned about Tope Suicida. But someone else has pointed out that, like, Natty is now a suspect, right? But what we're going to do is we should have the killing and then... 
before the main event, we'll run like a vignette where the murderer is like, you don't need to try and find me. I'm coming to you. Two weeks. You know? Okay. That's what we should do. And then on the next week of TV, Lex and Shit and Stoke should be like trying to make sure everyone's safe. You know? So for this... So, so... Okay, hold on. Or Say, what we do maybe is rather than a vignette, it's like written in blood. See you in 10 days or whatever it is. Okay, I like that. I have an idea of Stoke and and Sherlex. They need they need help on this, right? And mm-hmm. they go to to Yano and Orange Cassidy to as you know, they're the they're the fast and furious guys. They need help to catch yeah. this killer. Like Sherlock is like we're detectives. We can we can like you know hunt it down and find who it is, mm-hmm. but like actually catch it. That's not our job. Like to do that. Mm-hmm. Like we just piece the clues together. Like we need like people who go in space and go in submarines and do all the Fast and Furious shit, and then cuts to you know the the one last ride. That's what Orange Cassidy go, says. He says one last ride. Thumbs up. Okay. <laughs> sure. It's fine. I watched I watched thirteen minutes of Fast Nine this weekend. Yeah. That's all I could watch. Yeah, my my brother's a big mark for those films and he was like It's pretty bad, man. I was like, it must be fucking terrible. If you think it's bad, like it must be terrible. I love those I don't films. I think too. I've seen any of them. I only see I've seen the first two and that's it. I love those films. The thing is, is like I was I was stoned out of my mind, and like I can't sit down and watch like I can't watch anything for too long. Mm-hmm. Is when I'm in that state and like fully pay attention to it. So I like watched it, and I was like, oh man, I'd rather be watching SpongeBob right now. So I watched SpongeBob. I mean, what a decision that is! What <laughs> <laughs> the idea that those are your two choices? Me. <laughs> you know. All right, um, so Lex Stoke, call on family. People are popping for that one. They're like, yeah. That's what the kids call me, from what I can gather. <laughs> the family stuff. I wrote a Fast and Furious headline today. Sorry to hear that. Nah, it got, it got big. It got over on the Twitter. All of that stuff gets over on Twitter now. I know. Fightful's become like the account to like quote tweet to yes. share your opinion. Yeah, hundred so. percent. I don't know if it's good or bad. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's I thing. I agree. I don't know if it's good or bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So and then the Natal- the Natalia bit is that's gonna be at the end. That's gonna be right before the main event. Yeah. All right, and then uh, is that what you want to do? Written in blood, it says 10 days. I think that's the best thing, yeah. Okay. Especially because we're killing someone else. Yeah, okay. We're, we're killing cool. someone, so it feels like we should, you know, not just do a weird vignette. It feels like it should be blood. Technically, it'll be... I don't want Natalia to be, like, on screen, though, because that would be her debut, and I don't want that. So who's it going to be? Who's going to be, like, associated with this fucking thing? To be honest... In the game's mind, it's basically just the kill segment because that's where the blood is. Okay. Like it's... All right. So, so maybe we just throw in like a promo to finish the show out, like a you know Brian promo or some shit. Okay. And we can do. Hold on, shit. All right. Let's piece this together right fast. Move that up. Uh, we need a cold open. We do need a cold open. We do. Cause that uh, um, we'll do Alexa and Sid for the opening match. Is that good? <laughs> oh no. Yes, that's what we'll do. Okay. We'll do that as the opener, and we'll do like Brit firing everyone up, and they're like, you know, you're wrestling too. Oh my God, Hannah's in the chat. Jeremy Hannah's in the chat. She says, "Say hello to me, Jeremy Lambert." <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I already gave you credit on an article that, you know, Handel just met DM me stuff and be like, so and so said this, and I was like, all right, that'll probably make for a fine article, and then I just I give her a a byline on the website for it. <laughs> <laughs> Do we 
we do a bit where Brits fire up the troops and they're like, you know, they're like, you know, you're resting tonight too, and she's really cocksure. She's like, I beat Kelly ten months ago. Watching some Ric Flair takes won't do anything. Because okay. then, obviously, we know what's going to happen. Yeah, all right. Alexa and Sid are going to kick ass, and she's going to lose to the Kelly Kelly. Cocky Brit. I just put cock Brit. Cocky Brit. Cock. <laughs> <laughs> Talking <laughs> short mania, baby. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We'll, we'll come out of the gate strong. We know this segment's going to rate well, so... Well, are you saying we're gaming the system here, brother? No, it's just we've gotten all these people over and they rule. I'm the Eva Maria fight for is a tremendous, tremendous <laughs> conversation. Dude, I saw that clip of the lockup and like I just I just popped at the idea that she's like working hag bad she's at wrestling. Even though I know it's not true, I wanna believe it's true just for the level of performance art that would be. <laughs> and that would be some powerful shit. Alright, let's piece this show together. Oh. This needs to go down. What a show this a is! A little fuck. bit. We'll do the battle royal. Wow, well, Jeremy really name that one on the nose there. Noya loves Bob Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want us to forget that one. That's very fair. It's the right approach. Alright. This isn't the time for subtlety, right? Yeah. All right, we're actually going to do this in time without me missing any of the game. This is very good. I'm proud of us. All right, anything we need to, like, add to, to break up the show at all? Yeah, it works. We've got some promos for, for like, some segments, right? We're good. Okay. Who's who's not on the show? Anyone, any important one? I mean, there's a lot of people not on the show. They're, all these people are about to be pissed because, you know, they're, like, main eventers and stuff. Yeah. Do we want to no. do something with Taz? I mean, not really. Okay, <laughs> fair. I mean, because I'm looking at who else is there, and like he would have to win. I don't want him to win. <laughs> Taz, I don't know you know, if we want to do Taz like came, he came in at the wrong time, pal. He missed the cycle creatively. Yeah. All right, that's fine. Okay, that's our show, everybody. That's uh, that's the business has changed. The final yeah. pay per view yep. in BPW history. And after this, we'll do that top 100 thing. Yeah. And, then we'll... and we'll see the awards because it's the end of the year. I guarantee Good we didn't call. win any. Dave was probably very. It's always uh, new Japan. New Japan. It's yeah, new Japan. it is. I, and I saw that where she, she sold a scream like it was like a head kick it fucking rolled <laughs> that match was awful it really was terrible okay this is this is what we expect from the goats here we go the greatest what did, faction in wrestling history what did Sean tweet I don't know what Sean tweeted oh, it's been a lot of bad tweets since we went live There's always a lot of bad tweets. Fair. Somebody tell me what, what Sean's tweet actually is, uh, Ray. I don't know what I don't know what it actually was. All right. Um. Yeah. Great. Always. The the bulls always deliver, right? Yep. Okay. All right. Heyman, of course, just. Oh come on, man! Pull it together. He sucks, dude. He sucks. He does. Well, yeah, yeah, Kurt. We get it. You know when something sucks, Bob O'Neill will often be like, well, we're all going to die soon anyway. Actually true in this case. Everyone will soon be dead. So it's, you know, this promotion really, you can suck, you can be great. It makes no difference, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm not listening to Drake's podcast. I That's why I said no thank you on it. I'm not actually going to listen to that bullshit. I might listen to the first one to hear what he has to say about, like, the Janela bit. But you know, I don't. I'm not listening to. I've done, I did two stories on Drake off a of podcast. He can't have that much shit to say. All right. Should Bob. be better, man. Bob sucks. Yeah, not great. I love Bob, but in this game, he sucks. Sure. I don't even know if the van wins. <laughs> it's just one. <laughs> I mean, I just the van thing has taken such a horrible turn. I can't even go back to where we were going with it. Okay. It's this fun. was good. This I was mean, okay. It was it's rated on Bobby Lashley's ass. It was rated on the sex appeal of his ass. Yeah. I mean, he's very hard to do it specifically, but I understand your point. Yes. It was. Oh my God. Boom. 
Oh man, Brit. Yeah, Brit's pretty. We, we, yeah. We've got Brit to like god tier level, right? Yeah, we, we have. Yeah. Look, look, it says great heat and good wrestling. <laughs> but we've got them more over than the in ring allows. Yes. Okay, so this is also to, good. Yeah, thanks to uh, Kofi and, and Woods. I hate to say it, but Cross has actually been kind of useful for us. He, like, yeah, he's he been has. a fine in ring guy, right? Dude, he's been doing better than Lashley, or at least equal, which yes. isn't great. He's disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> Pian News is dead. Sorry to hear that. All right, here we go. We need this to hit, right? Like, this has got to be a B plus or better. Oh, my, oh no. Oh, God. <sighs> I have no idea. Sucked. I don't know. In better news, we'll run it back on Thursday without the epic thing and see if it does better over 20 minutes. There we go. <laughs> we have no reason not to run it back, right? Yeah. No, we have no reason. Yeah, so. we can just do it again. That's fine. Right. It's a shame because the actual undercard of that show is about as good as an undercard we've ever done. Yeah, like that was that was pretty solid. That show and the main event let us down. Not making the a main speech. event was like the third best match on the show. It was a B plus by Brian and a B by Moxley too. So the epic thing probably yeah, just like I think hurt it. the epic that's thing is like very temperamental. It depends on the crowd and stuff. It's weird. Yeah, that's why I usually don't use that shit. But the promotion's dying. Who cares, yeah. right? All right, I'm not making a speech. I'm actually disappointed. No. Fuck speeches. <laughs> Alright. It's like a top match in the industry we just booked and got a C plus for. Yeah. Oh, Carter, here we go. They're at their usual tricks. Somebody banned Cyclops is better than Logan. How dare you? <laughs> I'll do it. You're gonna put on okay. Top Not even subscribing Cyclops is better than Logan. You <laughs> mean you say mean things and you don't even subscribe. <laughs> Time out, pal. Okay. Let's see how many awards they win. <sighs> oh, yeah. Wrestler of the Year, Okada. Company of the Year. Oh, sure. Fuck. Sonata and, I guess, Evil? I think so. Yeah, that's weird that he's just not evil. Yeah, whatever. He's no longer evil. Yeah. Match of the Year, Okada and Oh, how Ishii. boring. Show of the Year, the New Japan Cup. That's oh fuck this! Sorry to hear that. Ishii of the year wins veteran. They ain't winning. For... Let's yeah! go! Let's go! There we go. We did it. We had the top two on that, you know, too, right? Yeah. We had the most entertaining wrestler in the world in that division too. Boom. That's cash. That's big time. Most improved company. We got a shot at that, Jeremy. We got a shot at this one too. We did it, everybody. We did it. I'm very excited that we won that award. Alright, most improved. Oh, fuck oh, no! Come on! <laughs> Not Ring of Honor of all companies. We could have lost to someone that actually like makes ground in these things. Okay. Are we an independent? Oh, Kane for oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> this, this universe rules. Okay. Manager's going to be Brill. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay, that makes sense. Announcer. Look at that face Ian Riccoboni's making. I like Ian. He's good. He is. Okay, this is very cowardly again. Britt was the only good one. All right, that's, that was we got, look, we got the Britt Baker victory. Feel that's good. SmackDown's over. That's... It just it doesn't. It's no longer airing. Raw is no longer airing. All these Wait, shows. Wait, what is actually? Done. There's an extension at the bottom, Jeremy. I don't know who it is, but there's. I see it. I'm looking at all of these. Uh, AW Dynamite. It's no longer on TNT. All of these shows just. Oh, it's on BT Sport now. Sport Next 360. All right, here we go. Come on. I need something good Imagine here. it's the fiend. Imagine it's the fiend. I didn't know, know who it was. I was like, who the fuck is that? Dude, imagine that was the fiend for a while. <laughs> that would truly be what dreams are made of, wouldn't it? That would be... All right, we have, not... we've gotten a lot of people who are joining the company now. Yep, two weeks to die. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's do the top 100, and then let's, let's, let's wrap this up. Oh my god, the, the morale. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of people who are mad they're left off the pay-per-view, which is kind of what I figured. Yeah, geeks. Fair. All right, Breeze is a... Go know. next door. Yeah, but he needs a push. He can be over mid-card. Doesn't really matter. Let's just auto-push these people. Oh no, because that'll fuck up Heyman's push, and I don't want to do that. Yeah, auto-push would legit kill our promotion. Yeah. We'd have no... It'd go very poorly. 
Oh, he can't have an anvil. That's fine. It's not like he's actually doing anything. He can be an authority figure. He's, he's just holding the machine gun collins. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh my god, the blade! Yeah. <laughs> I keep forgetting we got the blade. Put your All right, Brit's unhappy because she lost. Here, take a bunch of money. 100000 That's for winning the the, the award as well. Wow. We made $7,000 last month, Joseph. And then that we just gave like, Brit 100000 That seems like a liar that we made money last month, right? <laughs> that pay-per-view must have done good. Um, it must have done good. Hopefully it was our highest rated pay-per-view. Um, yeah, pay it was good. Was good. Yeah. Wasn't our highest revenue wise. Right. Well, there you go. But we were we're spending so much money on talent now. Like look, we're we're spending three ninety eight in February. We're up to <laughs> seven hundred <laughs> this month. Yeah, that rules. <laughs> okay. Anybody else have morale issues that like we actually need to take care of? No. Oh, Haromo. No, a lot of these are newer ones, so they're not going to quit. Yeah. We've at least got a couple months until they would actually quit. I just don't, I don't want to, see, L.A. Park has big morale issues, which, I mean, of course he does. Let's we'll just yeah, give everybody a bonus. Yeah. We're just going to give everybody a $50,000. This is going to cost us $3 million, Joseph. Okay. <laughs> Remember, we, when this is all said and done, people are going to assume we were just in too much debt and yeah. we run away. We're going to give everyone a $50,000 bonus. Yes. It's going to cost us nearly $4 million to do this. Yes. Okay. There we go. Okay. Everybody should be pretty happy. Look at that. Look how much morale that cleared right wow. there. Wow. Joint Gonzalez and Mike Sanders and the gang must have been really down on their last <laughs> man to still be up there. It must have been bad. All right. Let's look at the top matches. Where's that at? If you click on our company like logo or whatever the hell. If you go on our company somehow, I don't know how you do it. You go promotions or do you just click on the logo? I don't know. Go. Just click on our big booty pro wrestling thing. Okay. 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 Now go. Oh, top 100. Okay. There you go. I didn't realize it was actually top 100, to yeah. be honest. So, we technical had... issues in November was apparently our best show. It was a B-plus show. Can we see Wait, what we've only ever had one B-plus show. Yeah, let's see what's on that card from November. <laughs> that rules <was> so <laughs> So we just have, like, a, just a bunch of just B-minuses. Yeah. Please. Like, we have no real range in quality. There we you go. Have... A, this is our best show. Biggie and Heyman main event at our best show. Why was this a good show? Um, I mean, it had an A segment. The main event was a B minus. It had a lot of like B segments. There's a B plus in there as well. The Doink House spoof, like. Okay. Well, that was wholly uninteresting. Maybe the matches will be more fun. <laughs> what do you I think mean, our best matches? I want to say it's a Brian. It's a Brian match. Brian and Sid or some shit like that. Yeah, that makes sense. We'll Brian and Miro. There's just a lot of bees. They all rate Dude, the, the same. It's incredible. Like we have no. Like what's <laughs> what's our hundredth greatest match? Like if you go to the bottom of the list, is it still like it must be some awful match? Right, we haven't done that many good matches. Wow. I mean, we kind of. Do we? Here's the thing with this promotion. As wacky as it may be, we're not the most consistent territory. <laughs> we give you the same amount of quality every week, forever. <laughs> what a promotion this has been. That thirty for thirty is gonna be fire. I, I guarantee, like, our top... I mean, we've only run, like, 100 events. Well, the thing is, the B shows are going to, like, kill this stuff. Yeah, River of Darkness, just shit. Our worst-rated, like, technical difficulty is probably still, like, a C+. Yes. To only have run 100 yeah. shows, and our worst match in the top 100 still be, like, a C+, is very strong. Yeah. like Very yeah. strong. Our worst technical issues was, was a C+, and two of those happened in January. I like how our best show and our worst show happened in the same month. <laughs> Liars. Liars. <laughs> We're going out on top. That's all you can do, right? You don't want to be like Marv. You don't want to hang on forever. We're just going to blow the territory up. People can spend, the rest of their, they can spend the rest of their life just wondering what it could have been. There you go. Our, our highest attended show was our last pay-per-view. As it should be. Oh, man. Leave the memories alone, baby. And that's... It wasn't our top-rated buy rate, though. The big show's no. biggest show was our <laughs> top buy rate. <laughs> Okay, that's good. I like that. I what like was that on one. that card? Do you remember that card at all? It might have been the title change. If it was like that was around when Mox won it to me. No, that was the first oh, Sid and match. He's retained. That's why I forgot there was four matches. Because I forget. That was supposed to be Jimmy King. Yeah. 
we slotted Mox in, delayed it to get where we need to get to. So there you go. Yeah. LOL, the big show wasn't even here yet. Tremendous. <laughs> there you go. I'm just looking at this show. Sold a lot of paint views, pal. It did. Oh, that had Brian and Big E on it as well. It was a good show. I mean, if you say so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to see if we can't potentially get one more you know, contract offer here. It would be great if we could get the Fiend Bray Wyatt, but I don't think it's happening. What happened on Raw? How's old Jimmy King doing? Is he even on these shows now? There he is. He's in a skit with Dolph Ziggler. You can only imagine what that looks <laughs> like. Fucking loser. <laughs> Gonna wrestle with silence in a 15 minute match where Dolph amateur wrestles. Good luck. <laughs> only imagine what that looks like. Uh, oh, Ziggler doing a program with Jimmy King. That's, <laughs> that's what this promotion should have been all along. <laughs> Doesn't look like we're gonna get any good contract extensions here, unfortunately. All right, Joseph. Two That's shows it, left. One more episode. I mean, one yeah. more episode. Yes, one more episode. Two like shows on here left. All right, everybody. So the schedule is. Uh, is there another like trademark? frankly don't think you should ever cover trademarks again <laughs> okay um That's peak. that part of the industry is peak jeremy yeah very fair i don't like covering trademarks honestly um all right everybody we will be back on thursday with our christmas show after <laughs> our main show <laughs> i'm legit gonna put that on there like on on the twitch and on the uh, the main site um of like this is our christmas episode i don't know what we're doing but that's what we're doing uh we're back on thursday on twitch with the the christmas episode we'll be back i don't know if we're doing anything on friday i don't know next week next week's a big week show it's bp dub week on the twitch i'm officially calling it that um i think i think what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna give away a shirt another shirt on the final episode so if you if you would like a a, uh, a shirt, you know, tune in for the final episode. I don't know why. JJ's not allowed to win because he's already won one. We can't have more accusations yeah. of this being rigged. Uh, but we're going to give that it a shot. That was terrible. That was terrible, Drew. We got so much abuse for that rigging. That was terrible. <laughs> we're going to give away a shirt on the final episode. Tuesday, we're doing a media call. I will, I will have more information on that uh, probably Tuesday. But anybody who wants in, like, can be in. So if you, uh, if you would like to do it again, just check my Twitter on Tuesday. Um, and I, I will, I'll let you, I'll hook you up with the link to, to be on that. I think we're going to have blue tick people on it too. Very scary. Um, and then Friday is the, the actual last episode of, of Booty Indeed. Pro. Yeah. Leave the memories alone, pal. Yes. All right, everybody, uh, enjoy the soccer if, if that's what you're going to watch. Otherwise, just enjoy your afternoon, and let's see who we can raid, who is who is around, who is uh, streaming. Probably some wrestling dog, right? There's always some wrestling dog. Can you imagine being a wrestling streamer, Jeremy? You know what, I mean? what a dog, huh? Anybody got any suggestions on raiding? Anything? Anybody? There's really nobody... Like on our list. Cowards. Thank you guys for tuning in. We appreciate y'all. I think this is like for for BP Dub. Very good. This is, yeah, this is very high for BP Dub. Is Matt is Matt uh, streaming? Matt who? Or is his kids? AEW tag team champion. Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy's on Twitch. Yeah, he's on Twitch. Look at Matt Hardy. Thanks, Bills Mafia. I think it's his kids are playing Minecraft. Yeah. There you go. The fetish forever. <laughs> Y'all enjoy y'all's evening and afternoon and night. <laughs>